eDigital Africa Media presents Everything Digital with Faith History. Hey guys, welcome to today's Everything Digital, the show where we bring you everything cool, everything hip, and yes, that's right, everything that's digital in your world today. And as always, I'm your hostess with the mostest, Faith History Insa, and I will be your digital guide on this series. Now today, we are going to continue uh, with our series on the tools that you need to become a global brand, right? So last week, we began the series about becoming a global brand. We talked about the first steps that you need to take, and I hope you listened to that episode and took notes because, you know, I shared some practical steps that will make your brand practically limitless. And I'll give you, um, you know, some more tips today. And of course, those tips that I shared last week, it will give you reaches and places that you probably never set foot in so far, especially in other countries, especially in these times when you cannot travel except via the internet. Well, if you listen to that episode, I promise to share uh, more tools with you this week. And these are the tools that you will need to become a global brand. And this is me delivering on my promise today. So without further ado, let's roll. All right. Number one, customer behavior across markets. For this, there are lots of tools that you can use, but the simplest and first one that I want to mention is social media. People underrated. People just think, yeah, social media is for fun. We're just hanging out. But no, you know what? It's also a goldmine for understanding the behavior of your consumers and your customers. Whether it's on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, you can find out what your prospective customers, consumers, and followers like in three ways, all right? First way is you can check the posts of competitors in the area of your interest, all right? In this one area or areas and seeing which ones are getting more engagements. You can check in the comment section. This holds a lot of information if only you would look there. Now, checking the posts of some of these prospective customers uh, also allows you to see what topics they like. And then checking posts that they interact with is a good way to see their stories and to get an idea of the kind of posts that they consider to be shareable. So you're getting to know your customers. You're sneaking in and you're getting to know them. But aside social media, there's also a number of tools that can help you understand customer behavior across markets. Some of them are tools such as Google Analytics, right? This is great if you want to know how people find your website, how long they spend on your pages, where they live, and, you know, just get an overview of an overall customer behavior, uh, you know, by analyzing the data from your website. Now, this works well if you have ads uh, that are targeted at the region that you're trying to reach so that you know which part of your website interests them. Another one, uh, another good tool is Google Surveys or a top form. Now, you can create a custom and fun survey to help you better understand the behaviors of your prospective customers. This way, they'll be telling you their interests on their own, right? Uh, another one is Google Trends. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this one. It'll help you see what topics of most interest to your prospective customers by location. It's a super easy tool to use and it's free as well. So it doesn't matter what sector you're in, it's useful. And then Goal Funnel, this last one, it helps you understand the shopping process of your customers. Not everyone shops the same way. So with this tool, you can see where customers stop shopping on your website. You can test out a free product with a new location and just basically see how you can improve the shopping experience for them if need be before you fully launch there. Now let's take a quick break and hear from our amazing sponsors. When we come back, we can talk more about the tools your positioning, and so much more. Guys, you're listening to Everything Digital Show. My name is Faith History. I am your digital guide and host on this episode and on this series. We're talking about becoming a global brand and the tools that you will need. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And we're back. Before we went on break, we started talking again about the different steps and uh, that you need to take to become a global brand. And this week, we're focusing on the tools that you need to use. And we had talked uh, before the break about social media being a tool, Google Analytics, Google Trends, Goal Funnel being a good tool to find out how your customers are shopping currently, especially when you're running ads. And now let's go into your positioning. Who are your competitors in those markets? You can see Simply call them up and ask them what they want to know, or you can use a couple of tools, right? We're talking about tools. So you can use Spy Fu. This one sounds like Kung Fu, but it's Spy Fu to get insight into keywords and AdWords that competitors are buying. Spy Fu. 
uh, Google Alerts, you can set up an alert for your company to find out who's talking about you and then set up alerts on your competitors. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. And to win using SEO, check out these tools that will show you where you stand with your proposed competitors. And you know, SEO being uh, search engine optimization. So that helps you to really see what people are searching for and um, what the search engines are, are, are saying about you, about your brand, about the brands that you're tracking. All right, SERP Checker. This is a tool for keyword ranking. Site Worth Traffic. This is a tool for site traffic volume. Um, site Worth Traffic. This is another tool for site traffic volume. Website Authority Checker. Um, this is a tool for website authority. And if there are no competitors there, find out why just communicate with people in the country, find interest book on, uh, interest groups rather on Facebook, use online quizzes on social media and see what kind of answers you're getting. Another idea that you need to start thinking about because you're trying to go global is cultural translation. What does your brand name translate to in the language of the people that you're going to try to attract, right? Um, this requires some research and, you know, a Google search can save you a lot of trouble. So for instance, you want to launch a product in China and the name carries number four. You may want to Google taboo numbers in China because it's quite complicated. The long and short of it is Google is your friend. And if you aren't sure, then find someone in that country to talk to on telegram groups, Facebook groups and apps, uh, an app rather called slowly or Twitter groups. You know, your issue may not be about numbers, maybe about colors, maybe about the design, you know, and this is just basically you doing, uh, some focus testing, right? Focus group testing. Um, here's another thing on the names, uh, that you need to think about, you know, because sometimes you think about your name and it's uh, like, ah, it's not a big deal. It's my name, but you know, you don't want to keep coming back to you know, the, the, that name over and over again, you know, uh, and changing it over and over again, it ends up getting costly. You've registered websites, you've paid fees, uh, for, for it to be registered. So you need to get it right at the beginning, keep it focused on what you want to do, but broad enough to accommodate possible growth and expansion. This is about your naming, right? I've got a couple of names, a uh, couple of tools, sorry, for you to pick out your business name. All right. Here's my favorite one. It's called the business name generator. <laughs> so easy. It's a free tool developed by Shopify, which combines keywords with other words to generate a list of available domains, right? Here's another one. It's called name mesh. Name mesh uh, uses synonyms and variations to generate name ideas. It also checks domain availability. Uh, you can choose from common top level domains, mixed combos, uh, SEO focus, and you know, just similar or fun variations. Another name, uh, business name generator website name generator is Wordoid. It's like uh, Android, but Wordoid, um, .com. It generates made up words that don't exist, but sound and look great, right? So you can create word words in English, French, German, Spanish, Italian language. You can even mix them up and create a very unusual combo. They should have a Yoruba word or it. <laughs> that would be cool. Anyway, it's a great tool for those who seek uh, a unique and memorable company name. Panabe is another one. This one is spelled P-A-N-A-B-E-E. -E. Uh, it's another great tool for finding a great company name. If you The name that you actually want is taken, it'll offer you other variants, right? And it'll derive it from abbreviations, syllables, phonemes, um, you know, abbreviations, suffixes and prefixes and, and trends, you know, name boy is another one. Uh, it's a minimalistic tools that performs a search for one or two keywords and shows available domain names. I mean, the list goes on and on. We've got impossibility. We've got domainer, dot tomato, lean domain search. The list just goes on and on. So, you know, let me know what kind of tools that you're using to find your name for your business. Get to work, guys. Um, there's so many tools out there and there's so many of them that you can just tap into and start using right away. All right. So get to work. I'm going to take a quick break while I'm on break. You go onto one of those tools that I mentioned and, uh, take a gander, uh, come up with a new domain name and I'll be right back in 30 seconds or less. All right. We'll be right back. 
and we're back. So now that you have selected your name, the next thing is to buy your name. Like I said, the list is endless for where you can buy names from, domain.com, godaddy.com, a2hosting.com, name.com, namecheap.com, so many of them uh, that sell uh, domains, right? After that, you need to think next about payments. How are you going to receive your payments? We, in the previous episodes, we had talked about logistics and payments, but now let's talk about the tools that you're gonna need for payments. This is a critical aspect of any business, any e-commerce business, any digital products business, and as much as you, know, as you need to go global, you need to also think about how you're gonna get that money from all them different countries that you're trying to get paid from. So the two most popular means of receiving payments in Nigeria currently um, are Paystack, and then there's another tool called Rave uh, by Flutterwave, right? So you can take your pick uh, between these two and you know you can get paid by your customers wherever they are. You can also send them your link or embed your payment details uh, to your website and get paid online. So no need to send your account details. Other tools for receiving payments in Nigeria uh, from you know global brands uh, include GT Pay, Vogue Pay, Interswitch, Web Pay, Amplify, Remita, PayU. Um, that list is growing every day. Now these are payment gateways and platforms that enable you to collect payments for your goods and services from countries around the world. So you can take your pick from any of them and start earning today, like I'm talking about now. Speaking of which, if you love our content and you want to support us and help us make more amazing content, please. Send us a tip on Shukran is very easy. Just go to use shukran.com credit that's forward slash CR forward slash e digital Africa. Again, use Shukran. We're spelling Shukran S H U K R A N dot com forward slash CR forward slash e digital Africa in your browser and just drop a tip. We'll get it and give you a shout out next week. Yeah. Uh, also check out the show notes for the link to Shukran. Also our YouTube channel is filled with amazing videos you can check out. So uh, please check uh, the show notes again on and, and get on YouTube, search for us there, e digital Africa, hit the subscribe button, like, and comment our videos. If you like what you see and we will definitely appreciate that. And, you know, we just want to shout out to all of our fans and our followers and our tribe on WhatsApp, on social media. We see you every time connecting, um, you know, sharing our info, sharing our content and, you know, commenting and engaging like really means a lot to me and the rest of the team. And we really do everything that we do is for you. So I want you to be great. We want you to have an amazing digital life online, making lots of money, growing your businesses and just growing your brands until you know what? You're global, baby. All right. So next week, we're going to continue more on this global tip. I uh, just know that right now we are also working on some more digital products for you. Uh, a couple of months ago, we released our first ebook on becoming a digital influencer, and we are planning to release a course next on that. So if this is something that you want, I already started getting emails about this. Please pop me an email at everything digital africa and g all right so that's everything digital sorry pop me an email at everything digital ng at gmail.com all right everything digital ng at gmail.com and just say i want the course and that will let me know that will signal to me that it's time for us to start working on the course and to release it okay all right thank you guys for everything that you are to us and everything you are to everyone in your life make your life great make your future amazing starting today starting now follow us everywhere e-digital africa and my name is faith history you can follow me on social media i'm everywhere as well i am in there even though you can't really see me i'm like a ghost but i'm in there all right love you guys lots and we'll catch you same place same time with more digital tips and I uh, goodbye for now from me, your girl, Faith History. Toodles. For more on this topic, visit www.edigitalafrica.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Everything Digital is proudly brought to you by MTN. This is a Faith History production.